Hello there and Merry Christmas. My name is Martin Pears. I'm a cartoonist and illustrator. I've got two books out at the moment. My first book I have published is this one here. It's called Levi Journey, an Unlikely Therapy Dog, uh, written by Julie Ira Barron, an American author, and illustrated by me. Um, it's the true story of a golden retriever and his adventures after he was rescued and became a therapy dog. My latest book was co-written with Rachel Wood from Bibidoo, and it's called Dawn's First Tooth, and it is a lift the flat book for young children about the adventures of a young dinosaur called Dawn. Also you can get a teething toy of the Dawn character I designed. Anyway enough plugs. Now it's Christmas it's time for another Christmas video. Papers and pencils ready. Today we are going to draw this really cool snowman. So without further ado Let's get started. Okay then, paper and pencils at the ready. Today we are going to draw a snowman. So we start off somewhere towards the top of the page. We are going to draw a curved line, rather like this. And then from this point here, we're going to draw a line sort of curving inwards slightly like this. And then another line on this side curving inwards like this to about the same sort of length. Now, from this point here, we're going to draw another curve line matching the curve we've just drawn there. We're going to curve, but when we get to this point, we're going to go slightly beyond, a little bit over. And then we're going to go a little bit above this point. We're going to draw a curve coming round like this. And then we're going to come round here, curve up slightly higher than this side and down like that. So you're sort of slightly overlapping there. And then we're gonna come up just above this line here and do another curve round like that. That will be our snowman's top hat. Now, we're gonna draw a carrot nose. So a little bit from this point here down to there, we're gonna, somewhere in the middle, we're gonna draw a nice little curve like this. And then we're gonna draw a line that sort of comes out and up tight curve around there out and round like that so a funny little carrot shape and you can put a couple of little lines on there to make it look like a carrot now tricky bit now we've got to draw a circle we're going to draw a circle around this carrot so from this point here on that hat come to this mark here and then draw a curve coming out to our carrot imagine this line continues behind the carrot here and then come round and try and get your circle like that. It doesn't matter if that circle's not perfect because it's a snowman and it's very difficult to get a perfect circle or a perfect sphere when you're making snowmen. So that's our snowman's head. Now we're gonna draw his eyes. They will be lumps of coal. So it won't be a perfect circular shape. I draw a few little angled lines around there and then you can fill it in. You can leave a little bit of a, a white mark on there, almost like the shine on your eye. And then we got another shape this side here. And again, color that in, do, 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 do. like that. So now I'm gonna draw the smile on my snowman, a curved line and then another little curve like that. You can draw a smile with lumps of coal, but I think it looks a little bit cuter with a normal smile. Now we're gonna draw a scarf on our snowman. So from just below the smile, draw a line sort of curves out and down like that and then a little way along out and down like that so slightly higher on that side and then do a line that kind of meets up at that point there now to get the scarf looking like it's sitting snugly around your snowman's neck somewhere around where the mouth goes follow that to the edge and then draw a curve like that stop come back and draw another curve like that and then curve round so this line here is following the same curve there's the circle on our snowman's head. And then imagine that line continues behind the scarf there, and we can come out there to that point there. From here, we can do a curve coming round like that. And there we've got the scarf on our snowman. Now, to make it more fun to color in, we can do a pattern on the scarf. So just a simple stripe, so you can do a curve coming round, another curve coming round there. And then on this bit of the scarf coming around the front, a couple of lines like that. And that will give us something nice to color in. Now, before we draw the circle part of his next body, we're going to draw one of his arms because we're going to, again, like we did with our carrot, the circle is going to come around the stick of his arm. So, from this edge of the scarf here, come down a little bit and then do a little curve like that. 
and then do a line sort of coming out straight line but we're gonna go ever so slightly up so like that and then on this point here we're gonna do the same thing again follow it along so two lines parallel now we're gonna do the stick uh, sticks fingers no twigs the snowman's twigs that's the word so we're gonna come out like that round and back in out like that round and back in so it meets up and there we've got one of the arms of our snowman and the reason we're drawing this first is because it gives our, our, our um, the body of our snowman a slight three-dimensional look it'll make it look a little bit like it's stuck in on this side and then where it's going to come out on the other side it will be behind where we're looking you'll see what I mean in a moment so from this point here we're going to come follow the this sort of shape here we're going to come from the bottom of this scarf and we're going to come round in a big circle got to be bigger than the head up to this point here and stop don't go over this line you keep that as it is and imagine again that line's going behind the twig and then come back in to join up at that point there now we're going to do the other arm so that's going to be sort of slightly over to the other side and it's coming behind this part of the snowman so again we draw a line coming out like that underneath it another line like that and then we do the end of the line just the same way so out round and in out round and back in joining up in the middle there we've got that part of our snowman so we can get a couple of buttons on him again lumps of coal so same as we've done before we can draw any sort of shape slightly bigger smaller not perfect circles, not perfect squares, make it look like lumps of coal. Right, now the final part of our snowman will be um, the bottom of his snowman. There's a three ball snowman here. So again, we've got to try and draw another circle here and this is going to be bigger than the one we've just drawn. So come out from around this point here and come round in a great big circle like this and back in. And then we can draw another couple of coal buttons on our snowman here. Like that. Now, uh, I said in my last video that I like to always decorate my car my Christmas cards with sprigs of uh, holly. Now, the good thing about our snowman is we can put a sprig of holly on his hat. So come up to this point here, and as we've done before, draw three little circles there, and then from this point in the middle circle, you come out and curve round to a point, curve round to a point, curve round to a point, sticking straight forward like that, and back in, back in, and like that. So a nice little sprig of uh, holly on our snowman. Now we're gonna color this in quickly, but one quick point I'd like to make is that um, you might be asking yourself, how on earth are you going to color in a snowman that is white when you're already on some white paper? Now a good effect you can use on this and something I wish I'd learned when I was a little kid is if you use some blue for the shading around the edges, you will get it looking like a proper snowman with a nice bit of shadow on it from the blue. So I would suggest we get ourselves a blue pencil and do a bit of coloring in. Okay, so I'll just show you this uh, technique for colouring in on blue on here. So you can take your blue pen and we just do some sort of shading around the edges. It doesn't need to be much, just a, just a little bit of a hint. And obviously get a little bit underneath the hat. A little idea for when you're colouring in the hat, if you, again, do colouring sort of following the curves of the lines you've done, but if you sort of come in from each side but leave a bit of white in the middle, it's a nice little way of making it look like the hat band and the hat itself has got a bit of a shine to it. And there we go, there's our Christmas snowman all set to go and adorn some Christmas cards. And as before, sign your work so everyone knows it's yours.
So enjoy drawing your snowman and enjoy your preparations for Christmas. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Thanks very much and Merry Christmas.